Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm trying to speak a little bit quietly because it's 10 to 7. I'm to be fair, all my family are up anyway, but I'm still trying to be a little bit quiet. Um running a teeny bit late, but I'm about to leave for the gym. I want to get in the gym. To be fair, this morning I'm gonna go straight to my clients so I can afford to get in there by like half seven. Um but ideally it would have been seven, but that's not gonna happen now. Um anyway, also excuse how I look. This it's still not going anywhere. She's here to stay. So we're just embracing it. I haven't actually washed my face yet. I'll do it when I get back from the gym. Um, but this video is going to be another what I eat in a day. I actually started my very first gaining phase this week. Um, so I'll talk to you more about that. And I will. I know I always say it. But I will talk to you more about it when I get back. Um, I'm just going to go and leave for the gym pretty much in a minute um just before we get into this video there is going to be a mention of calories in there um so if that's not something that you want to hear right now then i don't recommend that you watch this video so before i get going to the gym this is why i'm running slightly late because i want to be leaving now i'm just going to make myself a bagel fin with 15 grams of peanut butter on um, and then when i get to the gym i'm also going to have my squares bar and my pre-workout the pre-workout i think it's downstairs the pre-workout that i'm taking at the moment is the pre by my protein in great flavor and i love it i'm like looking forward to going and having it i feel like i might have spoken about this in my last one so i don't want to get into it too much but the great one is a really nice flavor i think i'll definitely be rebuying that because it took me so long to find a flavor that i enjoyed um but yeah i need to oh, i hate it when you can see my hammer jumper um, I need to go and leave now, otherwise I'll be too late. I don't know. I want to film my workout. Today is a quad day. Um, it's also getting to that time of the month this week, maybe today. So I feel like my energy might be a little bit lower for my workout, but we're going to push through that. That's why I want to make sure that I have something to eat before I go. Um, and yeah, quad day, let's go. This is how we're looking this morning, nice and wrapped up because these cold mornings are hard. So I've got on a jumper from White Fox Boutique, probably going to regret that because it's cream. And I'm squatting today so I don't know whether the bar's going to mark it. This coat is from Zara. I've literally been living in it the last couple of days. I have, I think they're just the seamless leggings um, from Gymshark. I don't actually think they're for working out, they're quite see-through. Um, when you squat but they're also so comfortable and comfort is key today please excuse the coke cans from the background i haven't had coke yet this morning that was from yesterday i just need to take it down um and then i've just got on my converse and sports bra i have on my khaki uh, gymshark minimal sports bra let's go and eat something Okay, so we've just pulled up to the gym now. Um, I ate my bagel fin with peanut butter. Completely forgot to film it. It literally got wolfed straight down. Um, but I'm just going to have a squares bar and my pre-workout now. I have already mixed it, obviously. It's just settled. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drink that very quickly. I want to be in the gym ASAP. I don't know what to go for first. But this pre-workout... I just love it. I just love it. I feel like I've already spoken about it. I don't need to keep talking about it. I also feel like... Oh my god, I look rough. Um, I feel like I need all the energy I can get today. I actually have rehearsals tonight. Um, which are my first rehearsals for a while. Um, over Halloween, I'm doing a show. Um, so yeah, I have rehearsals for it, basically. Um, but this is the first lot of rehearsals I've had for a while. Also... They don't start till half seven and the earliest they're going to finish is half ten. So, and then I have to drive back. Um, so I feel like, yeah, I definitely need all the energy I can get right now because usually when I wake up at six, ten o'clock is like, I mean, granted, the reason like I'm late this morning, I keep, I can't, I'm falling out of the sleep routine slightly, ever so slightly. Like I'm waking up more half six now, but I'm just struggling to be... I can be asleep for like half 11, but obviously I want to be getting like 6 to 8, 6 to 8, 7 to 8 hours of sleep. So I need to be getting into bed that little bit earlier, which is where I'm failing. But I'm still tired at that time, so I'm definitely going to need all the energy I can get. 
as bad as it is i'm probably gonna get a um energy drink later um i also think i might save some calories and get some like harry bow or something i feel like that's what i like to <laughs> eat when i'm d not eat when i'm doing rehearsals but it's a nice little energy booster for me probably doesn't boost my energy at all but i just like some gummy sweets so i'm gonna drink this i'm gonna eat this we're gonna go and smash a quad session i'm really enjoying quad sessions at the moment they do make me feel violently sick but i am really enjoying them the issue is i am just very quad dominant which is why i stopped training them for a little bit because i'm so quad dominant and then i was just like it's that stupid like i'm not i shouldn't stop training something so i'm just embracing it i'm just embracing it Okay, I will see you either in the workout or after the workout, but I am running quite late, so I don't know how much I'll be able to film. Okay, quad session is now done. That was actually a really good session. I really enjoyed it, really needed it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go now and go to my first client. This is actually my only client today, um, which is why I'm gonna go straight there. I've still got my headphones on. Um, which, yeah, that's why I'm gonna go straight there. Um, and then I'll come home and have breakfast after just because, like I said, I was running a little bit late this morning. Um, so I didn't want to like cut down on my session if I didn't need to. I am hungry, but the session is only an hour long. So I'm sure I'll be okay. And again, I'm trying to push my meals slightly later today just because I know it's going to be a late one today. Um, I bought myself an energy drink for later i'm getting like shooting pains up the veins in this hand i've been getting it since last night but it's like enough to take my breath away and i don't know what's causing it i'm really squeamish so i don't want to look up what's causing it but like it's taking my breath away i don't really know it doesn't look swollen or anything but oh my god it was doing it last night when i had a client and i kept having to like <laughs> bend over to the ground because it was just hurting so bad um but yeah quad session done i'm gonna go do my client now and then i can head home for breakfast i need to stop and get petrol for tonight as well and i'm hoping in the petrol station they do the um grenade oreo protein bar probably the white chocolate ones I haven't tried it yet but i just went into sainsbury's and they didn't have it they haven't had it in stock for a while um so i'm hoping they have it because that will be my snack later tonight yeah i need to get a move on okay so i'm back now i'm not gonna lie i'm not sorry about my appearance at all it is freezing i've got a hoodie my dressing gown my little koala my pajama bottoms i am freezing um but yeah it's breakfast time now even though it's actually 10 to 12 i ended up being a lot longer than i thought i was gonna be i had to go get petrol and um, drop off a vintage parcel as well and things like that so I'm having breakfast now and I'm starving. So I'm really going to quickly show you. I've just got a bagel with four chicken sausages and a fried egg with ketchup as well. Um, I'm going to have some water. Let me just quickly check my... So that is 527 calories and 36.9 grams of protein. Um, I'm going to eat this now because my mouth is literally watering. I also couldn't find a oreo grenade bar in any of the shops that i went in so i was really looking forward to that so i might have to now stop that was going to be my alternative to getting like some harry bows or something probably something like i should have probably got the protein bar but they just didn't have any and i didn't really fancy 
I'm not the biggest fan, so I didn't want to get one for the sake of it. Um, so I took it as a sign. I'm not going to obviously get one because I can't find one. Um, I do like the Fulfill bars, which I was going to get. Um, but in the petrol station, they're about 10 times more expensive. And I was just a bit like, no. So we'll figure that snack out later. But I'm just going to watch some YouTube and eat this. Okay, so I've just been sat here doing a little bit of editing and I'm going to go and have lunch now. I'm going to have a tuna toasty, which some people think is disgusting, but tuna, red onion, cheese and mayo in a toasty. It feels so nice to, I mean, I could have had a sandwich in a cup, but this tiger bread that we have, it's nice and thick. Like it feels so nice to be able to have that again. Um, I'm sure I'll probably get sick of it. I'm already starting to feel a bit more like fluffy, but... I'm enjoying the food freedom. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a toasty. Like I said, it's really cold outside and it looks like it's about to start raining. So I feel like a toasty is just perfect for this weather. Um, so I'm glad I planned that in. Um, I'm going to go and make that now. I also did have a dark chocolate digestive. I forgot to film it because I literally just picked it up out of habit and ate it. Um, but I also had one of them as well. I think they're about 85 calories per biscuit. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go and make my lunch now. And I think I might have a Coke Zero as well. Okay, so I'm back with quite possibly the most unappetising lunch ever. Like I said, I had a tuna toasty. But when I got downstairs, there was no cheese left. So it kind of ruins the whole toasty vibes. But I'd already made that the tuna, onion and mayo. So I thought I'd just put it in the toasty still to crisp the bread up. I actually got left with the corners of the bread, which I don't mind. Um... The only thing is, I don't mind it in normal bread, but with this bread, because it's, it's so thick, I think it just makes it feel even more, like, stodgy. Um, so this lunch was an ultimate fail. That's what it's looking like. Um, but I'm just going to quickly eat this, and then I'll jump back on and have a little chat with you. I feel like that camera angle might be slightly wonky, but we're just going to go with it. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't enjoy that sandwich at all, which is weird because I loved that type of sandwich. It just felt really heavy. And has left me feeling like quite bloated. I know it's probably because I'm eating a lot more carbs. Um, I, I need, I'm really struggling to, one, I think like just, not adjust, like, it's hard. Like, if I was eating, what am I trying to say? So like, I'm just so used to eating a type of way, like in my cut, where I have like my bagel feeding for lunch or a salad or something like that, to now going to have to eat something a lot bigger, it's just... I feel like it's a bit hard to adjust to and I feel like I'm maybe doing it wrong which I suppose there is no right or wrong way originally I wanted to do a clean bulk but I feel like the way it's going it's not quite going that way I'm kind of just increasing my calories um I am kind of watching like my fats and my carbs as well um trying to keep my fats slightly lower however I feel like my main focus at the moment is trying to fit my protein in. Um, and I feel like because it's such a big increase in calories, which I've done steadily, so it's not like a big jump. But I'm just trying, I'm just finding it hard to fit like clean foods in that bulk out my calories, if you know what I mean. So if anyone has any like suggestions, because right now, like my dinners are fine, I'm having... But that's what I'm, I'm finding it hard to find meals where I'm not having like pasta and rice every single day. Or I've been doing homemade chips quite a lot. But again, like, I just feel like what I'm doing is wrong. I feel like because this is so new to me, I just feel like, well, I shouldn't be having a big sandwich for lunch. But it's just because I'm not used to that way of eating. But if anyone has any like more so lunch recommendations that they can give me or like pages to follow i'm having pasta quite a lot um i'm having pasta quite a lot for dinner um or like i'll have pasta one night rice another night because i feel like that's that's just what's working out and i have started to meal prep i know in the last what i eat in a day i was like i'm not going to be that girl that meal preps um for like the whole week i feel like last time i just did it for two days this week also is because I'm quite busy in all of the evenings. However, it's just, like I said, I'm just finding it a little bit hard. So I found it easier for me to just meal prep. So I've just picked two meals that I'm going to have for dinner um, and meal prepped two of each. So I've got four meals through the week. I'm out for dinner Friday and I've just done it like that. And I felt like that's worked best. Um, but yeah, if anyone has just any tips and stuff like that, I feel like... 
I used to be a bit too scared to ask for help because I don't want people to think like, oh, she doesn't know what she's doing. But this is new to me. Like, there's nothing wrong with asking for a little bit of help. Um, yeah, I just feel not lost with it. I'm enjoying it. I have a lot more energy. Um, but I just, I'm not sure whether I'm eating really like the wrong things. Or if the so obviously I'm not eating the wrong things, but if there's a better way I could be doing it. Like I said, originally I wanted it to be a clean bulk, but I am kind of just enjoying the food freedom because I haven't had it for so long. Um, so I'm kind of just working it as as long as I get all my protein in. I'm still tracking my calories, but I've not been too fussy as to what I've been eating as long as it's got a high amount of protein. Um, so just any help would be nice. But yeah, I didn't really like that sandwich just because it felt a bit too heavy considering i've already had two bagels this morning as well um it also feels like i'm non-stop eating like what i'm eating at the moment 2500 calories is a thousand more th than what i was eating at my lowest point in my cart so it's just a shock i feel like all i do is non-stop eat instead of being like oh i can't wait for my next meal so now i have a protein yogurt with 15 grams of cereal um, and i'm just gonna sit and eat this and watch a little bit more YouTube. I haven't just sat here and watched YouTube all day. I've been doing, I've been editing a YouTube video in between, but while I'm eating, I just like to sit and watch something. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then that's why I'm having this so soon after the sandwich, even though I'm full up, because I wanna leave it a little bit of a gap before my next meal, which I think I'm gonna have, like I said, I've got rehearsals tonight, so I'm gonna have my dinner before I go, which means having it a little bit earlier. Um, so I'm probably going to have it at about 5, half 5 and it's quarter to 3 now so I'm going to try so I'm not going to have anything from now really until then just so I can kind of let myself feel a bit less bloated and full so my lunch was 527 calories and it was 32.7 grams of protein was that the calories? 525 my breakfast was 527 yeah so that's that i'm gonna eat this now and then you and then i will join you for dinner which i have already meal prepped i had it monday and oh my god it was so nice both the meals that i've meal prepped um this week are like i'm genuinely looking so forward to them and i feel like that's the best way for me is to i don't think i could meal prep just plain chicken and rice like i have Tonight I have a like fajita pasta and then yesterday and tomorrow I have a Cajun barbecue pasta, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, I'm going to eat this and then we'll catch up for dinner. Okay, so we're going to have to excuse the lighting. Um, I'm just, I need to get ready. I've got to leave in half an hour, but I do not want to take my dressing gown off like I'm freezing. Um, but let me take my dressing gown off because I actually do need to start sorting myself out. Um, I've just I've just had my dinner. I've got about half an hour before I need to leave. I'm literally so full up. My dinner was 508 calories and 47.3 grams of protein. It was like a creamy um, chicken and chorizo fajita pasta. Really, really nice. Um, I'm just having my clear way now. I've got the cranberry and raspberry flavour. I'm really nervous to drive. I don't like driving anyway, especially where I need to drive. Um, and it's raining and dark. I just can't, I'm scared. Um, I'm going to have a fibre one bar on the way. And then because, oh my god, my battery's flashing. Because I couldn't find a protein bar, I have like 200 calories left. That is greased. That needs washing. Um, so I think I might find myself, I'm either going to take another squares bar with me just for a bit of energy. Or I'm going to find, um, maybe stop at a petrol station on the way back tonight and get a protein bar or something. I've got really bad, like, period pains. And now I need to go dance for three hours. Um, but yeah, I'm going to quickly put my battery on charge. So I might not see you till I get back tonight. Um, but yeah, plan is clear way, fibre one bar. Then I've got some calories to play with. Oh my god. Bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna have to be very quiet because it's just turned midnight. This camera, I look rough. Um, oh god. 
think we're just gonna have to deal with the camera angle tonight um yeah it is just about to turn midnight um i've just got back from rehearsals i've just learnt six routines full routines in one night i am shattered um so i'm gonna round off this video now um because i'm so tired i feel like i'm not even gonna be able to talk properly so i think when i left you i had just had my protein shake and i was gonna said i was gonna have a five one bar um didn't have the five one bar because i got really nervous about the drive so i didn't fancy that but i did take a squares bar to have on my way back and to try and wake me up a little bit which i had my fitness pals logged me out we really love that i really wanted to do my first fake tan of the season tonight as well i think i'm still going to okay okay so i have actually slightly under eaten today um like i said i was eating 2500 calories and i've eaten 2385 i was going to have something a little bit more when i got in but it's really late and you know when you're kind of just that tired you actually don't fancy anything which is very rare for me i've sweated off all my makeup so yeah 2385 calories and i've eaten 175 grams of protein step wise oh, i don't even want to Oh no, my watch has run out. I don't know whether it would have synced to my phone because I've been, that is a thing now, I start getting up at six. My watch tends to run out really quickly. Plus I was dancing, I was dancing from half seven till half 11. I'm hoping it synced up to my health app. When I looked, when I was there, I had done, I think 12,000. Um, oh God. See if it's synced oh no so it's not synced okay so my watch hasn't synced well it has synced but it's obviously run out it run out probably it flashed up saying 10 percent when i probably had about half hour left half an hour to an hour so it's saying i've done 12,250 i would say it's probably closer to maybe like 14,000 um just because literally dancing non-stop so a pretty good day like i said i would have liked to have got in that couple of extra calories but i'm just i ache already i'm dreading what i'm gonna feel like tomorrow i think i might have to switch my days at the gym around a little bit and have a rest day tomorrow um but we'll see i'm gonna not do my 6am wake up i'm gonna sleep in and then i don't have a client till five so i'm gonna see how i feel maybe just go a little bit later but that is going to go ahead and finish this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.